hi everyone welcome to the youtube channel in this video we will see if the product has inventory but it shows as sold out on shopify then how you can fix this issue so if you run a business on shopify you have a lot of inventory for one of your products but on the website it shows that it is stocked out it is sold out but you still have the inventory left so if you're facing this issue then i'll show you how easily you can fix it also you can find the shopify's link in the description below so first you have to simply go to the website of shopify and simply log in with your account and once you get logged in you will be on to its home page now once you're here on the left side you can see we have so many different options from all these options you have to simply select this one which is the products because we have to go to the products and choose the one that we are having issues so here you can see this is a product and in inventory it throws zero in stock that means we are stocked out so if you face this same issue then this video is for you so first you have to simply open your product and then you have to check out all these things and scroll down then you will see this section in the variants and you will see this option which is available so this is your stock you can see this is like we cannot click onto it this option is disabled this happens when your store has multiple locations like if you run a business in two different places so this is where the issue comes this is not exactly the issue you have to just simply set up few things so you can see i have selected out my default store and now all the stock out is back and it is enabled like i can click onto it while if i choose my other place you can see it here i cannot click onto it and it is stocked out so here you may understand that why this happens this is because if you have two places and on one place you're stocked out so it shows stocked out on all locations if you have multiple locations then you have to set your inventory separately for every store or every location now what you have to do is that on the left side you can see we have this settings icon at the bottom you just have to simply click onto it because we have to go to the settings to just simply set a few settings so we don't get this stock out for all the store at once so once you get there you can see we have different options again on this page on the left side you can see we have this option which is location simply click onto it and once you click on to it then you will find all your store locations so first i'm just gonna go to my shop location which is the default location you may have named it different on your site so whatever is your default one you have to simply click on to it and it will open once it gets open you will see that we cannot select this option which is a fulfillment so what you have to do is that you have to turn on this option on your default store this option is disabled so we will leave it there we would not change anything because we don't have the option now what you have to do here is that you have to simply get back and open your other locations if you have more than two then you have to open them all one by one so fulfillment is a process where once if the products get delivered and your get stock out it shows fulfillment only to that location it would not do it on all the locations so here you can see i have enabled it for my other locations so if you have more than once you can do it and save it and from now on whenever you do sales you will see that you would not get this show of stock out if you get stock out on one location it will only show there not to all the stores and once you have done it you just have to simply get back to your home and after that you have to open that product that we have just did it and now in inventory you can see we are now again stocked in now it is showing us inventory that we have for the locations and when someone goes to your website and purchase from there they would not see this issue of stock out you can see before it was zero and now it is 218 that means we have got back our stock so i have shown you this one for two locations one was the default one where we cannot change our fulfillment 
but for the others we can do it i have only shown it to that one because i had only one other location if you have multiple locations then you have to do it for all the ones and let's say you get stock out to one of these location then on the website it will only show that one stock the rest of one will have the inventory left so if you face the issue the things that i have done in this video you can do it you can see an inventory before it was zero now it is 218 so that's how you can get the idea you can fix this one so that is all i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you're new to this channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates you can leave a like comment if you have any queries feel free to ask in the comment section below or is there anything else you would like to know you can mention in the comment section below thank you so much for watching the video till the very end